the body of Christ, it says, Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded. That's what Paul said. That's what I say. And what do you say? For I am persuaded. And he have the voice of the old house. I said, what did you say? For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. As we live our Christian lives, we need to be reminded there will be times of trial. There will be times of persecution. There will be times of temptation. There will be times you'll find yourself at a crossroads. Where do I turn to? Where do I go? To the right or to the left? Or do I go on in a straight course? At such a crossroad, in times when you are perplexed, in times when there may be confusion, the Lord wants you to remember that with his love upon your life and his love within your heart, whatever happens, whoever is against you, whatever the temptation, whoever the tempter or the temptress may be, you'll be more than a conqueror. Because he gives us triumph at the cross. He bought that triumph for us. With his word, he has given us the promise of that triumph. And by his spirit, he transfers that victory, that overcoming spirit, that triumph, Transfers that to every heart. Second Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. Second Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. Now thanks be unto God, which always causes us to triumph in Christ and make it manifest the savor 